nanotechnology, a new phenomenon. You're probably wondering what that is. But unfortunately, no one can be told what it is. You'll have to see it. I was just kidding about that. Anyways, nanotechnology, you cannot really perceive it. You cannot see it, for it is very small. Hence the prefix of the word nano, which means very small or minute. So that tells you um, what nanotechnology means. Small technology. Pretty easy I guess to remember. Anyways, I would like to introduce Brian Emery who is going to tell you about the history of the technology. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I was paying attention. Oh. Well, what are you waiting for? My title. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Okay, so a man by the name of K. Eric Drexler, he was born on April 5th, 1955 in Alameda, California. Um, he went to Boston at MIT, and he um, worked on and discovered molecular nanotechnology. Um, nanotech first emerged in the 80s, and um, it was upon the invention of scanning tunneling microscopes. Uh, I will now produce... A and he will tell you what he'll tell you. Nanotechnology is the science of manipulating materials on a molecular scale. With nanotechnology, you can build virtually anything because you're assembling it molecule by molecule. So, with enough time, you could build anything from a car to a couch to a box of tissues. Anything you want. Nanotechnology is the dream of many a sci-fi author. As a result, it often appears in their work. In one of my favorites, a novel called Counting Heads by David Marasek, which takes place about 150 years in the future, um, everyone has been forced to move under these canopies that cover the cities and protect them from leftover uh, nanotech weapons from a war that happened in about the middle of the 21st century. In the medical world, uses of nanotechnology are now being developed. Scientists are putting together these nanoparticles, which are small biodegradable molecules, and they right. um, inject them in, into the bloodstream so they can detect diseases earlier before they actually happen. Um, they send cells and good and um, essential things like heat, light, and drugs. Nowadays, nanotechnology is being used in many products such as pharmaceutical ones or semiconductors or even sporting goods. Um, for instance, it is used in over 500 consumer products, that's quite a bit, um, such as tennis balls. They have an inner core for the balance, but it's coated in um, nano composites, which gives the tennis ball a much longer lasting uh, lifetime than a just average tennis ball, actually twice the lifetime. In the future, nanotechnology could actually save lives. A chemical called ethylene glycol could actually stop white blood cells from attacking uh, nanoparticles so the nanoparticles can concentrate on killing cancer cells which could destroy entire tumors so this could entirely revolutionize the way medical um, approaching of the human body works One of the dangers of nanotechnology is known as the Grey Goose Scenario, in which self-replicating nanobots escape into the wild or 
are mishandled or released by someone stupid like Monsanto and outcompete their natural opponents for habitats and take over the biosphere, spelling our doom! So, as far as the um, benefits of nanotechnology is if there were to be someone in a hospitable situation or an emergency and um, the, let's say, doctors or whatever had a certain amount of time to work on the patient and they had to get in a really tight area, they could use nanotechnology per se or some kind of um, technology that's nano to get in that area. So it's a lot easier to use the nanotechnology to get in places that one could not normally get to with what they're using now in hospitals. Also, um, as I had said before, nanotechnology is in a lot of consumer products. It's in, um, you know, hair for like caring, your, caring for your hair and skin and whatnot. But if you've seen those like stupid ads where they have like the, you'll look 40 years younger, which is probably not true. And in those um, lotions that they say they'll, you'll look 40 years younger, they have nano um, zones in it, which. Um, work it with your skin causing it to temporarily temporarily not be wrinkled but the next day it'll be wrinkled again so that are, those are just a few of the um, common day benefits of nanotechnology Video camera. Yes. Video camera.